So there are triggers that have been implicated in the development of autoimmune disease, and we will take a look at them now. One is gender. And uh, indeed, females are more likely in general to develop autoimmune disease than males. You could see in the chart on the right-hand side here that 10 to 1 ratio in the development of Hashimoto, for example. 10 women versus 1 men will develop it. Graves disease, 7 to 1, etc., etc. Basically, all diseases in this chart but one um, show that there is a uh, at least a two-time um, likelihood of women developing it versus men, if not more in some cases. Also, genetics. Genetics is interesting because um, in the modern medicine, um, genetics mean it sounds so finite. Well, well, it's my genes, and I can't do anything about it. But Ayurveda offers a more hopeful look at genetics. And it says uh, genetics are basically prakriti, your constitution. And uh, whereas, well, there's not much you could do about the prakriti that you inherit from your parents, but there is something you could do to manage it. Okay, And that's very helpful uh, and hopeful because it's not finite. It, it, it doesn't, our healing doesn't stop there at, uh, at the level of our genes. So moving on, infections, as I have already mentioned in the previous slide, um, some infections can powerfully disrupt our immune system, especially if it's a, you know, a very new infection that we have never experienced before and it just mobilized all of our resources to fight it off and maybe depleted our immunity and then immunity starts to malfunction and the cascading effect of autoimmune disease development it's, is set in motion like a snowball. Also toxins, toxins in our environment, toxins in our water and our food, toxins in our uh, cosmetics that we put on our body. Um, leaky gut has been implicated in all autoimmune diseases and in fact is present in all autoimmune diseases. Every autoimmune disease, I guarantee you, will have some degree of intestinal permeability, which is what leaky gut is. And uh, because you have a leaky gut, the autoimmune disease cannot be healed. So uh, again, some people look at leaky gut as the root cause of autoimmune disease. Ayurveda says it's a consequence of um, a bigger root cause that has been disrupted, you know, triggered into motion, which we will discuss very shortly here. But it is the place from which when we fix it, we could start reversing autoimmune disease. Okay, you will see how in this webinar. Uh, germs and parasites present in the system are constantly triggering your immunity and imbalancing it. Uh, also fungi, um, chemical irritants, household cleaners, right? Environmental irritants. And last but not least, stress. Stress is perhaps the biggest factor in development of autoimmune disease. First time I made the connection between stress and my eczema is when I was uh, sitting in meditation and just trying to meditate my pain away. And uh, um, a thought in meditation came up and it was a stressful thought, uh, some stressful you know, interaction I had with um, my then husband. And immediately, immediately, I felt an irresistible, almost uncontrollable itch on my skin. And that's when I made that connection. Aha! A stressful thought was enough to create um, 
activate a symptom on the surface of my body. And uh, most clients that I work with already come to me convinced that the source of their trouble and the cause of their illness is stress. And um, I believe them. I believe them because I know that's how it was for me. And actually, science backs it up. Stress is the silent killer. So stress management is a huge, huge factor in the treatment and reversal of autoimmune disease, which again, we address that in the Heal Your Flame program.